Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid, and let's continue the game where we last left off, which is now starting the actual game. We saw in the last video the briefing and also the intro of the game, and now let's start playing, but I'm trying first to get a little bit familiar with the controls. Oh yes, so this looks, this is melee, this is choke, and I think that fires the weapon when you have a weapon and R ah, and crouch. And the game, well, uses the D-pad controls which does feel a little bit awkward because, well, in modern days, you always play with analog and at least, yeah, at least on my control, the D-pad analog sticks don't work, so I don't know if the game actually supports. I can't remember back in the day. So yeah, that feels a little awkward and let's see how long it takes for me to get spotted for the first time. longer and yeah first order of business is to get into the elevator but we first have to wait until the elevator arrives this was one of the first neat tricks back in the day that was introduced that when you hug the wall the camera automatically pans so you can see on the corner Hugging the wall because enemies can hear if you walk through puddles. They will come in search and they will see your wet footprints. Now they don't hear you running, but they can hear on certain surfaces that make a clanking noise. I do remember that. And now all we can do for the moment is to just wait here until the elevator. Actually, I wonder, can I crawl under? No, it doesn't have a... Right one, your weapons to get them. I do know where you get the weapon. I do remember that this was a bit. Oh, there was another rash. But wait, am I full of them? Actually, yeah, I'm full of them. You get more rations or ability to carry rations as you fight bosses. And also, your health goes up. Oh, man, no. oh I thought that I got spotted. But no, but Good. Along that full map. Yeah, it feels a little bit the game doesn't use tank controls, but yeah, using the D-pad does feel a little bit odd. Even though I just played Resident Evil. There we go.
Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. 
It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay, so now we get to play. I usually go to the upper duct area because I do find it a little bit easier, but now comes the first real... Because there's an item over there. Chaff grenades. Oh, oh yes, there it is. That you can use to disable security cameras. And there are a couple of them, as we saw through the binoculars. So, yeah. We need to time it well. And also, the truck contains a handgun. But it doesn't have a silencer, but I'm gonna go and try to pick it up. Let's look around. Well, it could go really bad, really quickly. Come on, snake, run, run, run. Oh! And there's another security camera, and there are items there. But I'm not gonna use... This. Oh, I have to actually... Hmm. Now, how many items did I get? Three. Use. But the problem is, by using this shaft grenade, I also disable my... my radar. A surveillance camera? Hmm. Oh, I could go from the lower ducts. Because that card does sleep. But, I don't know, can you actually... past him while he sleeps. Also, gotta make sure that... Because he does wake up every now and again, and there's a sentry in here. Oh, that's a... And also the... Upper bumper is the, if you want to quick select an item. Hmm. Before I do that, I'm gonna go and try to pick up the weapon. Hopefully there wasn't any other. So yeah, there are. Grenades won't disable that searchlight. Oh yeah, the other guard already left. I was thinking that maybe I should go and pick up the I think those were flashbang grenades that you can use. Ah, okay. Oh my control is a bit tangled. So maybe I'll just start grenades. Ah, uh, he has sleep still. Ah, uh, okay, this chap already wore off.
risky maneuver. Well, I could, of course, try to go through there and then. Spot it right away. And you cannot shoot in first person in this game. You can in the future installments. I'm gonna try and look until that sentry goes. Walks away. have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. It's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Yeah, and pressing that view button, you can actually, like, glue yourself a little closer to shafts. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell?
but I don't know if can I get it right away. I don't think I can still get it. I think it's behind a locked door and I need a key card. Press the action button to drop down. Always, like in Western games, it's usually either the X or the square button. In Japan, it's the circle button. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Not gonna use. It. And yes, this actually give away your position. But I don't think they give a yeah. There. You can choke enemies, but it's a really risky maneuver because if you move and press the <coughs> square button, they got a judo throw, which does not kill enemies, but it will stun them. You have to stand still and then press, but it can also then trigger alarm. At least I, back in the day I always had trouble with that even though I took a chokehold it set up alarm most of the time. So yeah, try to avoid it. I'm gonna try to avoid as much killing as possible. Until I get this pressure. So where's the elevator? There's some ammo. And I don't yeah, the enemies don't hear you if you're on the up open one. Well, talking. You can also go through the cameras by hiding under them. I'm gonna try that to get familiar with that mechanic. Like so. If I don't have any chat for me. But yeah, back in the day, I'm... it feels natural to play with the D. Now it feels a bit awkward. Pressing it. And that's game mechanic. Situation. <coughs> I guess it. But enemies will be easier. Okay. Where was the I want to get a better look. The pressure. Oh, that's the elevator. That's where I need to go.
but you also have to wait a while. And you cannot see your radar when you're stuck. Backup has anything. Oh, come on, game. Move anyway. Snake, didn't you hear that the DARPA chief was moved to a cell in the first floor basement? Yes, I did her. Nothing new up there. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. And I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna quote-unquote save the game because I'm gonna use save states, but you, I do occasionally wanna also make a save. Sorry, but... the Solaton radar won't work in a narrow space. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? You get these kinds of little tidbits from Mei Ling, and he also gives you uh, some Chinese proverbs every time you save the game. That's why I'm also you just to hear more of her talking. Don't give up, Snake. Okay, this time she didn't give anything. Man, it's definitely fun to play this game. It's a long while. I want to get spotted just yet. Yeah, well, there, there will be plenty of times that I'll probably get spotted. And we have to wait until the elevator arrives. The DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. It's that for some reason every time I do let uh, PlayStation One Let's Plays and use the recording, it they are very huge. Like 20 minutes of recording is like two gigabytes of data. I don't know why, but for some reason, it, the PlayStation One games when I play. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder. Just press the action button by the ladder. A lot of these little tutorial tidbits at the beginning of the game. And yeah, let's... Well, let's do this. Now, there's gonna be a little bit of a cutscene, and after that I'm gonna cut the video. Or maybe not just quite yet, because we're gonna have pretty soon our first mandatory fight. Look around. Ugh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Actually, get our first key card. Is that a woman? 
not him. That's Meryl. Campbell's me. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Already done that, Campbell. Can I go in? Can I go anywhere? No, the DARPA chief is right below us. No other items. Okay. Nothing. save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <laughs> How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist! Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, 
they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <laughs> what is it? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Now we'll have to wait a little while to escape the cell. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? 
You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Damn it! <laughs> Continue! Damn it! Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'll have to redo that again. Well, let's do it! And then I'm gonna cut the video. I did, I did remember the grenade, but I thought I was out of the blast radius. I think you can cut... Uh, Keep the cutscene. Cut the cutscene. Well, that's one way. Yeah, but I've tried to think that you can also aim, uh, run and aim at the same time, so you don't have to stand still. But I can't remember what was the button combination because the game doesn't tell you. <clears throat> Shoot! Only six rounds were left. Thanks for the help. Wait. Who are you? You fool! You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea.
just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Alright, well, now I'm gonna cut the video. We now saw Meryl and found the DARPA chief and things didn't go very well. And yeah, the plot is already thickening as this is not just a simple nuclear disposal facility but a hidden base for Metal Gear Rex, the third Metal Gear. But I guess I'm gonna cut the video here now. The first things first, well, let's go and get that suppressor and also try to get some ammo and then head to the basement too where we will find the president of Armstead, Ken Baker. But that'll be the next video. Until then, always, I'll see you and I see you. Later.